Nunes so Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, the 31st of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at, at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of market stats for the day, you have the FTSE more or less finishing uh, neutral. Uh, although it was at, up uh, up to uh, 7410 at one point before it actually gave back the gains. The German DAX actually finished negative 44, French CAC negative as well, FTSE, maybe IBEX and stock 600. Now, European indices certainly finished lower on the back of a stronger euro, euro USD at the moment, certainly um, above that 1.38 handle now, okay? So again, certainly causing uh, pain for European exporters and obviously that was on the back of the uh, stronger core inflation reading today as well. So it certainly seems like the uh, European equities, from my understanding, I mean, I got stopped out on my euro stocks long today, certainly looking to buy the potential dip and then obviously got stopped out. Uh, I was targeting the gap fill at 3493 zone and that certainly failed. As you can see here, we broke through uh, this key support zone here at 3450 as well. Okay, next potential support is seen at 3430 now. So the euro stock certainly remains under immense pressure. Okay, now a stronger euro certainly is hurting European equities, as you can see with the German DAX as well. German DAX certainly flushed a hit gap fill. Once it hit gap fill at 12.210, then it was just a one-way um, street down to uh, that key support zone seen at uh, 12.100. So be interested to see how the DAX unfolds now, especially with the euro USD above that 1.28 handle. Now the uh, 1.18 handle. Now German US, sorry, German U US, uh, or should we say German retail sales also came in stronger than expected this morning. So again, that certainly helped the euro to a large extent. But having said that, we had stronger pending home sales from the US and also, although Chicago PMI missed, the Fed Dallas numbers certainly uh, are coming in stronger than expected as well. So from my interpretation, that certainly indicates a stronger dollar. Also, if I bring up the dollar index as well, you can see on the daily chart, the dollar index at present, you are into gap fill support here. Okay, the next potential gap fill is down at 123.6. So we'll see whether or not this uh, dollar certainly continues to flush. Now, the weekly chart has immense, immense amount of support in this zone here. It's whether or not we actually continue to fall. Okay, obviously, we have concerns with regards to Mr. Trump's uh, strategy going forward and whether or not he can go ahead in terms of tax reform, although they have been talking that up. The market certainly seems to be ignoring it thus far. The Bitcoin related news, Bitcoin concerns certainly hurting the chip sector and semicons uh, today. So again, watch out for that Bitcoin ruling tomorrow and that will dictate the uh, movement in the Nasdaq and the S&P. Although the Dow Jones uh, certainly hitting a new high. OK, the Dow certainly is on fire. The Dow Jones, if I bring up the daily chart, the Dow Jones at present, you can see just constant new highs, constant new highs at 12, 21, 9, 20 at present. Certainly seems like nobody wants to sort the, uh, or even sell the down. They want to continue to buy with the top, obviously, uh, bellwethers, okay? Now, or juggernaut, should we say. Okay, so in terms of uh, economic data today uh, from the uh, UK and Europe, really we started off with uh, Chinese data overnight, slightly missing the mark at 51.4 MBS manufacturing PMI. Okay, slightly missing, although still robust to a large extent. Uh, we had um, Japanese data industrial production as well coming in on the weaker side. German retail sales certainly helped European equities uh, move higher before we obviously gave up the gains on the back of the uh, core inflation number coming in stronger than expected. Unemployment numbers certainly, unemployment rates certainly plunged, certainly moved lower at 9.1 versus 9.2. Okay, and it certainly seems like it's causing fears or concerns that Draghi will actually go ahead and pull the trigger. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how the market unfolds tomorrow. Okay, so uh, FTSE 100, really, it's, uh, the focus was on Brexit uncertainty, given the uh, disagreement between uh, the uh, Conservatives as to uh, the freedom of movement going, going forward, and it certainly was clarified towards the end. Also, we have concerns with regards to the tobacco-related stocks and also the uh, pharmaceutical-related stocks with Glaxo profit warning last week and tobacco-related FDA ruling as well hurting the nicotine levels in the uh, or the nicotine levels that are allowed in the actual cigarettes. So German DAX at present, let's just go through the technicals now. German DAX at present certainly pushed higher, closed the gap and then eventually sold off. You still have the unfilled gap below at 12.050. We'll see whether or not we can close that. It certainly has been one hell of a plunge in the German DAX and no real uh, respite rally thus far. Okay, uh, Looking at the 60-minute chart, the German DAX at the moment, you're into a double bottom now. We'll see whether or not we can hold that. Uh, and let's see how the market reacts to, at that juncture now. If I just count the lows, uh, certainly one would argue you are now into potential support based on this key diagonal trend line. Okay, so let's see if we can get a falling contracting wedge type pattern here. 
that could trigger a potential short squeeze. Now, the German DAX sectors themselves certainly all aligning into support. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC here. French CAC certainly seems to be very weak at present. I was expecting a potential bounce in the French CAC, as you can see here. Key support, key support. It seems like we certainly are levitating towards that gap fill. We'll see how the market unfolds there as well. If the Euro USD can actually start to reverse, okay. 60 minute chart again, horizontal support is seen uh, here at 5095. Okay, whether or not if you breach that, then you are looking for gap filled below at 5060 and then potentially even lower. So let's see how the French CAC reacts as well. <clears throat> okay, in terms of Euro stocks, let's bring up the Euro stocks again. Okay, so again, we breached that support at 343450. Uh, next potential support on the 60 minute chart now is seen down below at 3435, 3430. That will be a key support zone. Okay, uh, again, I was att attempting to uh, target the gap above today at 3419. I certainly failed miserably. Okay, certainly stopped out on that trade. In terms of the FTSE 100, it seems that we gapped higher and then we eventually closed the gap, so it's a neutral day. Okay, given the fact that, like I said, you have tobacco concerns now. FTSE was helped by HSBC today as well, so certainly stronger earnings and a potential divi hike there as well, certainly helping the FTSE and uh, obviously Chinese data out overnight. Asian equities, uh, the uh, Hang Seng China certainly finished positive, but the Nikkei certainly finished negative. So FTSE back into gap fill support. If you continue to fall, then you do have support at 7,350. So interesting how the FTSE held at 7,410 level and then eventually just collapsed. Interesting on the back of obviously European equities collapsing as well. So very strange reaction into on the FTSE, especially with the spike eye up to 7425. That was very strange on the FTSE at, at the open. And then obviously it gave up all the gains. So certainly an interesting day. Okay, certainly an interesting day. Almost a 40, 50 point obviously uh, move on the FTSE with intraday. Okay, so that certainly sums it up. FTSE into support, European equities potentially into support. Okay, uh, with the, uh, obviously with the possibility of a gap below certainly being closed and all eyes on us equities now if i just bring up the s p 500 here just give you an insight given the bearish pattern on the s p just want to share this with you okay so watch out for the bearish pattern on the s p 500 on the 60 minute chart it gives you a head and shoulders formation with the right shoulder going in today holding that fib 75 percent we're certainly looking for that right shoulder here uh, certainly coming in now you have the unfilled gap that was closed at 2460 and then you have all the gaps below so you are looking at 24 for 44 target and then obviously you got the unfilled gap at 24.25 so let's see how this uh, unfolds okay especially with the north korea concerns you have uh, qatar concerns as well russian concerns with uh, i think uh, 700 odd diplomats certainly uh, expelled from russia as well uh, given the uh, retaliation for the sanctions against russia let's see how everything unfolds okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now